everybody. Um, this is Michael Simpson. Today we're going to be talking about lighting. This is our lighting crash course. Uh, we're not going to go over everything there is to know, but we'll go over some of the, the main highlights as far as lighting is concerned. Um, okay, number one, the thing that I wanted to go about, uh, talk to you about, your eye is better than any camera in the world. I, I should say most people's normal eyes. I mean, some people have bad eyes or whatever. But your eye uh, can automatically adjust to changes of, of light and boom. It can adjust if there's a different temperature uh, of light being cast on, on something. Your eye adjusts and makes corrections so that it looks right f f to you, to your eye, to your brain. The camera uh, won't necessarily do that. The camera will go about trying to figure out what the best lighting is, and sometimes they have trouble. That's where we can help them out with how we light. Um, there's a lot of different ways to light. One, one of them is if we want to use mechanisms, if we want to use uh, light bulbs. Uh, one of my favorite is outdoor lighting. Uh, I'm, it's about three o'clock right now, the sun is behind me and I'm in, a sh in the shade which is a good place to be if you're if you're um, shooting whatever you're shooting because um, you know I'm not gonna have that eek, squinted eyes where I'm in the Sun and in the light that that's on me that's is actually bounced light it's lights that that has come over and is hitting the hill and the trees and everything and bouncing back on me uh, uh, it's a, it, that's a real good way to, to bounce light. I'm going to show you a couple ways, a couple tools. I hope you can see. This is just a, a foam board. I got it at the dollar store, 99 cent store. It maybe cost, I, I don't even think it cost a dollar. It was like 99 cents. You can use these and, and you can bounce light. Like if the, if the sun was coming from this direction, I could bounce light back towards the, the camera. Uh, I tried this one earlier. This is, uh, um, oh, it's got black to, this is a regular photography tool. I'm going to see if this will, if you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to get over here by the camera and where and where I was sitting, you should be able to see a little bit of a change in light. And um, one of the things you want to do when you're lighting, uh, I, I don't think I have it right now, but Try to make sure you get some light in whoever's speaking, singing, or whatever. Try to get the light in their eyes. <laughs> I'm not saying where you, like a headlight or a spotlight. Where you, oh, wow. yeah. No, just get get that light, that glow in their eyes, and, and it will, will help. Other, other forms of light. Okay. This is just a regular desk lamp with a clamp. It's got a 6,500 uh, Kelvin bulb in it. Um, this is a, another desk lamp kind of set up same same kind of thing. It's got a lower temperature bulb 2,700 K. The the thing to keep in, in mind about light and, and lighting is light temperature. Um, it goes from from like zero which would be completely dark. And then uh, what's considered a daylight bulb is 6,500K. Uh, and depending on the brightness uh, during the day or whatever, the Kelvin temperature can go much higher during the day. The other thing you can use, you can use a regular old lamp. This was a question someone, someone had asked me, I get a lot, is how can I light uh, inexpensively? Um, which, uh, you know, hey, I give you a gorilla high five uh, for gorilla broadcasting. That, that, that's a good question. How can I do it cheap? How can I do with what I have rather than go and buy a million dollars? So, so good question. That's what I, what I wanted to answer here with today. Um, the, the other thing about light. Uh, so if you're lighting with, say, a 2700K soft white and you have that light bulb over here and you have a different temperature over here then um, 
it's going to give you, it's going to kind of combine and make a temperature that's kind of off. Uh, the thing about knowing your light temperatures is, is a lot of your cameras will have settings on them for, they may not say light temperature depending on the camera, they may not say in K, uh, Kelvin, they may just say, you know, indoor, um, outdoor, you know, cloudy, overcast, they may have these kind of settings and you can dial it around on your camera or you can hit your white balance button and see how it looks. Number one, number one. This is probably before number one. Number one before number one. See how it looks? See how the lighting looks uh, whenever you light something and look at it through the camera? How does it look from the camera? Uh, turn the light off, turn another one on, move lights around, play around with it to see what looks best. Now traditionally, your traditional lighting theory um, is uh, it's called a three-point lighting. So it's, uh, the three points are key, fill, and then backlighting. <laughs> or you might name, name them that. Anyway, so if, if, if I were to take my arms right like this, this is going all the way out to the side, and this is all the way in front of me. Halfway in between that is going to be 45 degrees. I do the same thing over here, 45 degrees. If I'm setting up lighting, I would want to set them up at the 45 degree coming down at, at my subject from this angle. One of them could be, the key lighting could be a little bit brighter. The fill is generally to fill in, not quite as bright. And the third element, I don't know if that mentioned, is your backlighting. A lot of times you can get away with not doing that, uh, but it's good if you have it. Especially, I, I've ha I don't know how many things I've seen where someone has, a, has black hair and it's on a black background. And, and it looks like they just, they don't have hair. It looks like their, their head just stops and blends into the background. That's why you want the, the backlight, if you can do it, will separate uh, the person from the background. Um, okay, bounce lighting. Okay, yeah, I went over the camera, uh, the bounce lighting camera setups. Uh, one of the, the, my preferred lighting that I like to use a lot is outdoor lighting, natural lighting. Um, either being outside, be very careful if you're outside and say in the sun and have the sun on your subject uh, because it'll, it'll make their eyes squint and then it'll just be too harsh uh, and it won't look real good. So try, and if you can, set up something you know, if the sun was over here, okay, have something out here, outside the camera, that's going to block the direct light on your subject, or you ha may have something, it's called the, um, put like a white sheet, a bedspread or something like that, and you can diffuse the light, you can make it not as harsh. Uh, you can sort of reduce the intensity of it, as it were. Um, okay, so... Lighting will work with your camera settings. There's a lot of things you can do in your cameras to kind of uh, object, um, adjust to the lighting. But it helps if you have sort of the same light temperature, especially on your subject. Uh, the, the person, if they have all the same light temperature on them. I was doing a shoot yesterday. I had natural light coming in from this side and then um, I needed to be well lit. Uh, I had the, um, well, one of my lights right here, 6500K, shining on my face this way, and the light, the light matched, and my camera didn't get crazy and say, well, what light is this? I don't know what the color is, and uh, a lot of times that'll happen, cameras, you'll see cameras um, switching around, and they'll change from bright to dark, crazy things will go on. Um, okay, another thing that you want to be real careful of is if you're shooting into a window. If your subject is in front of a window and the sun is coming from back behind you, uh, your camera can have a lot of trouble with that because it doesn't know what to adjust to. Uh, you can, it will usually adjust uh, a lot brighter so then your subject will be darker like they're in the shadow. Um, you can, if your camera has adjustments, you can make adjustments to that make your subject look brighter and then it'll it's going to make your black your background a lot brighter 
So anyway, but, but it's usually best if you don't have the, like on an iPhone, I've seen it where people are shooting. They're shooting and someone's sitting by a window um, and the camera doesn't know what to do with the light. Same thing can be said of television monitors. If I was standing here next to a television monitor and it had some white light, sometimes the camera, uh, or even if it doesn't have white light, the camera doesn't know what to do with that. So um, just be aware of those things. Uh, I uh, quite frequently will, uh, where my studio is, I have a side light that I use a lot. If the light's coming in too strong, I'll block it off. I've got um, boards, um, white boards actually, that I can put up and I can block the lights off. I have uh, plastic that will, uh, clear plastic that will diffuse the light. I have some, <laughs> uh, I have some other plastic sheets that will, if it's still too bright, I can lower it even more. I have one that's kind of a, a gray smoky color. I could put it in the window. So, it, you know, control the light as best you can. Um, but now, now I wanna, one of the things I'm going to tell you, uh, once you've done this for a while, you're going to develop superpowers. <laughs> okay, and what I mean by that, it's not, you're actually not going to have superpowers. But you're going to be able to look at lighting. And when, when something's lit and you're going to be able to tell probably what's wrong and what needs to be fixed or corrected, uh, you'll, be, you'll just be able to see it. Um, so those are the superpowers that you'll, that you'll get. So uh, um, I'm going to keep it real, real short today. Uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for, for um, all these people out there that, that are wanting to learn um, to shoot better, to light better, to do all of these things better. Lord, I pray that you will bless them. Um, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So that's our show for today. Um, God bless you all. See you real soon.